The family's attorney says the father did not abuse his son, but rather used corporal punishment. Now, Fox News' Charlie Langton joins us live now from the newsroom to explain exactly how the law works. And Charlie, why don't we define what, what exactly is corporal punishment? Well, actually, corporal punishment is only found in one part of the Michigan statute, which I've got it right here, but it has to do with abuse or corporal punishment used in a school setting, but it does say corporal punishment is means of, it's deliberate infliction of physical pain by hitting, paddling, spanking, or slapping. That's essentially what it is. It doesn't say anything, though, about whether parents can do it. So what about the law? There's no law preventing corporal punishment? No, I would say based on that, parents can hit their kids. Now, the issue is going to be how far can it go? But if parents use reasonable physical force, and I mean reasonable, that is okay under the law. Well, what about allegations that Charlie was beaten with a, a PVC pipe? They, they mentioned something about blood being found on that pipe. Uh, when you're using corporal punishment, it sounds like you can use your hand. I didn't hear you saying anything about using an instrument of some kind. No, in fact, I've got a copy of the court documents right here. They specifically say that Charlie, little Charlie, 12 years old, was beaten so bad that the skin on his buttocks split open in several areas. That the PCV pipe, that there were marks on his chest, circular marks that Charlie reported from beatings from his father using that PVC pipe. That may very well go well beyond what reasonable physical force is. But here's the trial. The, Bo the Bothell's attorney uh, said that they've done nothing wrong. Essentially, they're going to ask a jury to come back with a decision. What is corporal punishment? What is reasonable physical abuse when a child is supposed to discipline his kids? So this whole trial is going to center on what's reasonable and what's not reasonable. Medical evidence that the prosecution will probably end up saying, and maybe little Charlie will have to testify as to the fear that he was put in by what the father thought was reasonable force. That's coming up. Up though later on, not now. All right, and where it enters into the area of abuse then. Right. How far can it how far can parents go in disciplining their children? That's the issue for this jury. That'll be the trial. Come All on. right, Charlie, we'll be following it with you. Fox 2 legal analyst Charlie Langton.